Hey guys, Lucas here, back for some more GR street photography in sunny Ikebukuro. And today I have somebody with me. Dun, dun, dun. I'm everywhere. He's everywhere. <laughs> so today we're going to do a video together. Sam is here, Lucas is here, and we got our GRs. We're going to do some street. And before we get onto the video, don't forget, please like, subscribe, leave comments below, you know, make fun of us if you want, whatever. And also, if you shoot with the GR and you share that on social media, please use the hashtag shootgr underscore and then your city. So shootgr underscore Tokyo for, for us today. All right, so we can see your photos on Do it. social media. So Sam, what brings you to Tokyo these days? Uh, I'm actually visiting family. Okay. And uh, yeah, I and only- doing some street. Doing some street, <laughs> it's been a while. Um, I'm glad to be back in Japan. And mm -hmm. of course, I'm glad to meet Lucas again. How long it has been? It's been about two years two since years, our last right? video together for your channel that we did. That, yeah. was, that was a very fun experience. Yeah, so today we're going to do some GR street photography, right? Of course. Of course. This is what our... Else should, what else do we use? What else would channel? we use? Yeah. <laughs> so I got a GR3. What do you have? GR3? Uh, the GR3 X. X. Of, even though it looks exactly like your camera. Exactly the same. But it is uh, the 40 equivalent and right. we have the 28. That's right. Do you like that one more? Uh, yeah, I do. Actually, mm. it's, it's just that I'm... I am enjoying more compression at the moment, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but whenever I go back to the GR3, mm -hmm. I feel very comfortable again, but I like nice. it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I, I love the, full, the X when I got it. I was like mm -hmm. very excited about it. I still think it's great, but in the end, I just, I kind of like the 28 it's also a little more. We are used to 28 right. for right, all right, these right. years, this and it's true. so engraved in our, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know if muscle memory is the right word. Yeah. But the way Oct you see ocular it. Ocular memory, yeah. eye memory. Because <laughs> when I you know, do this and yeah. with the 40, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, gives, gives, it gives a totally different image. For me, it's kind of like because, and probably we'll see this as we walk around here in Tokyo, but Tokyo has a lot of narrow streets. Yeah. And sometimes I can't even get into, I can't even get far enough away. Yeah. Like you actually have to be close. So yeah. it's kind of 28. For me, this is the, the German street photography camera. Right, 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 right. And this is the Japan nice street photography camera. Oh, I'm seeing. Yeah, it yeah, makes sense. I agree with you. If you have more room, yeah. then some kind of more room. And I know I was room. in your frame by standing here. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. You know, something I wanted to ask you, um, I always wondered, we never talked about it last time we met, is mm. you do a lot of black and white photography, but not these days so much. There was like a time that you did. Not even one shot since I did my black and white uh, okay. challenge. So that was just like a temporary challenge. Yeah. Then, huh? I just got too much. I love mm -hmm. black and white. I'm mm -hmm. comfortable with it, but mm -hmm. uh, let's go over this. Yeah. I miss color. You miss color. Yeah. yeah, I never, I never get, could give up color. I was yeah. the same. I always wondered about that because, for me, it just makes it just makes sense to uh, shoot color everywhere. You know. Yeah, I like to to know that I can at least in the, mm. later decide if I right. want to switch right, right, it to right. black and white. But when I sh shoot with black and white in mind. I, I look at things that I'm normally not really paying attention too mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. to. Obviously, having good light uh, is, I think, universal right, for right, color right. shooting as well. Agreed. But it just feels like lim limiting myself unnecessarily. Kind of arbitrarily, right? Yeah. yeah. But I don't know, I might change my mind in mm. Japan because it's very noisy when it comes to colors here. Yeah, I'm weird, I'm torn about it because when I look like at your black and white photos and other black and white photography, mm. I always really like it. I'm mm. like, oh, that's really cool. And I think maybe I should shoot black and white. And then I go out to shoot and there's just no way. I'm like, yeah, no, no, no. I'm not yeah, but I don't like 90% no. of my mm. images I take in black and white mm. until I get that one where right, it really works. Right, right, exactly. So Sam, I think I see an interesting target. I like these people uh, carrying stuff. If we can get okay, over Okay, whoever gets there first gets the shot. <laughs> but I don't need to run because I can take it from here. That's right, that's right. <laughs> but what would you do normally here if you are by yourself? Would you I would follow? do what I just did. <laughs> I just follow them around the block. But the, the background's really busy, right? That's, yeah. the, that's the challenge for me, is how do I make it simpler? When I'm doing street photography, I'm always looking for people doing anything out of the ordinary, basically. Yeah. So other than just standing there or walking or looking at their phone, those are like the least interesting things. Let's go over here. But what about you? What do you look for when you're doing a street photo? Like, what's your... Uh, I think I, I'm similar. Uh -huh. uh, I, I, I would have followed the, these uh, people if they mm. were continuing right, right. walking somewhere. I think the more you do it, the, the more picky you get. Yeah, absolutely. Right? And I used to take pictures of people just walking towards me or um, besides me and, right, right. and trying to get like visually interesting images. Right. But uh, it's, it just doesn't cut it anymore. Mm. 
I need a little bit of a little bit of that extraness. Something extra. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And I, and I, I find I'm getting I'm actually shooting less mm -hmm. typical street photos these days. Like yeah. I used to just shoot everything. Everybody on the street is like click 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 click. Yeah. Interesting, but I kind of got over just okay photos of people, and it really needs to be something special. Yeah. Otherwise, I just I find myself more often just taking photos of the scenery because that's yeah. always looking pretty good, and I just right. sort of do it like on autopilot. And only once in a while do I actually stop take a photo of like a human element. Yeah. If it's something really special. So in that case, are you focusing on one something specific or are you reacting to I'm always things? very reactive actually. Yeah. I'm very open. It's just like okay. I have an open mind. Whatever I see, I'm happy with. Yeah. Um, and if I don't see anything, I'm happy too because I'm outside walking around taking mm. photos, which that's my happy place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's that's no, all good. I, I but agree. of course I'm extra happy when I get a good moment, right? Yeah. I sometimes switch between, you know, capturing something to preserve it, maybe like a right. construction site and Same. say, oh, yeah. whatever I take here, it mm -hmm. might be interesting in the future. Mm -hmm. And when it mm -hmm. comes to people doing mundane mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. then I'm looking more for a little bit more interaction, something exactly. more interesting than just them. Even though, mm -hmm. you know, if you look at photographs from the past, even mundane things on yeah. the street yeah. are interesting. Maybe are interesting. not for us right now, but exactly. this dog here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we might not have dogs in 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dystopia. You know? a dystopia I, mean, I don't want that to happen, but... But you know, speaking of that, th yeah. this used to be this really cool old little um, bar here, run by mm. this little Ojichan. Yeah. And they, as you can see, it's not anymore. They tore it down. So I know exactly what you mean. Like, often I'm just shooting the stuff around me because I know it'll be gone. And that's a lesson I learned the hard way because mm -hmm. over the 10, more than fi almost 15 years I've lived in Japan, I've seen a lot of awesome things disappear. Yeah. Right? And yeah, you um, must notice uh, these mm. kind of things more often than I do because I don't really have that one city anymore yeah, where, right, where right, I shoot right. every day. Yeah. But you see the changes, but you know mm. now I'm going. I went back to, mm -hmm. to Kamakura yeah. where I was born, and, and you've seen some changes. A lot of changes. Wow. I can't even recognize some of right. the places anymore. Yeah, you know, and in a weird way, I'll say this might sound a little bit arrogant, I suppose, but I feel like it's become my duty. Because mm -hmm. I've lived here so long and I'm, I happen to be one of these camera geeks, you know, taking photos of yeah. stuff, it's sort of become... <laughs> you can include yourself in the, in the, in the mirror. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the, in the mirror too. Um, yeah, I feel like it's become sort of my duty. Like, well, someone's got to document this stuff. I'm not the only <laughs> yeah, one, yeah. but I feel like I'm in a position to do it. And so when I, when I forget to shoot something or I don't shoot something and then next week it's gone, mm -hmm. I feel really actually sad about that. Yeah. I kind of beat myself up these days. I'm like, oh man, why did I take a better photo of that thing? Right. Um, Shibuya Station's an example of that. Yeah. Because it's changed a ton mm -hmm. over the last 10 years and I never really took great photos of it because I didn't pay attention. Mm -hmm. I thought, eh, it'll be there forever. You thought you'd have more time and then yeah. it changed. Yeah. yeah, I think that's good that you have set yourself these, um, I wouldn't say goals, but uh, let's say a mission, your mission. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you have a mission and then when people stop you and ask you what are you doing, you know, oh, I have this mission. And yeah. I think most people will understand it. And yeah, I think, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they might even think, oh, that's a noble mm. mission to have and then continue, you know, they would, might yeah. be happy that you take pictures. That's another interesting point you raise because sometimes when I, when I teach workshops, people telling me like, oh, I'm, I'm scared to take photos of people. What do they get mad or whatever? Yeah. And I, one of the things I advise them is I say, well, have a good reason for taking that photo. Whether exactly. it's you really like the person's fashion or you can explain to them what a street photo is. Say, well, your shoes are blue and the thing is blue and mm. the colors coincide, so that's cool. Or as you just said, well, I'm just trying to preserve these moments and these things here because yeah. they won't be here in 10 years. And I find whenever I explain to somebody something like that, like why I'm taking the photo, they they react very positively. Mm. They, even if they're at first a little bit annoyed, like, hey, why are you taking my photo? Once I tell them the reason, they're like, oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> so that's a good point to bring that up, to, to have a reason for your photography, a mission. Right, because I think most people expect you to mm. uh, publish that photo online to get yeah. you know, validation or right, recognition right, right. and use them. Or the yeah, photograph. it's kind of exploitative. Right? Exactly, yeah. Right. Rather than what you're, what you described just now, more like uh, not, not exploitative, but um, some good way to say this, like honoring. It's hard to them. say it without sounding. Yeah, without arrogant. sounding really, really. <laughs> like, arrogant, I'm yeah. preserving history. Like you have. Yeah, but you're, you're you have kind the privilege of, of being photographed by me. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So it's not about privilege, but it's more like, res you know, pu putting respect to the thing you're photographing. Like I'm photographing it because I respect it. Yeah. Right. Because I think it's great, and I want to show it to other people or preserve it or whatever. Yeah. 
Although the girls bar girls don't like to have the photo. I know, but that's why <laughs> I know they, you go for it. Anyway. Why they have the I know, signs they over there? I put the signs up. Yeah, and then that the makes sign, it interesting. Exactly. Right? Even the signs, you know, mm -hmm. when you read them later, yeah, it's interesting. And also, I find if people cover up their identity, then it's like, well, then if I take the photo, everyone, everybody wins. I get a cool moment, mm -hmm. and they don't have to show their face, and you know, we're all good. I love this sushi place, by the way. It always catches my eye. Oh yeah. Yeah, especially uh, even just, just through the door. I actually here. have to step back a little. Yeah. Yeah, you got to step back. I got to step forward. <laughs> We're gonna need <laughs> each other's shots. The the um, the sign is nice. The, the, the omiyage. Omiyage. I love that neon sign. Yeah. It's a little bit more conducive for photos at night, though, because the the light. Oh yeah. Light. Yeah, and then you can and you can't see the interior, interior that much. Exactly, in the daytime you can't see the interior, but in the nighttime the interior really pops. But it's, it's still all good. I got a little bit of the interior just now. Yeah, I love these busy scenes. This is another example of what we're talking about. This sushi place it's quite old. Yeah. You can tell from the signage, right? Mm. And it's been here for a while, and I'm sure someday I'm gonna walk by here and it'll be closed. And, and even if you take the same photo every year, yeah. And now you have you know disinfection exactly. spray this here. here. Yeah, things it change. Tells a story. Things evolve, yeah. right? One more. I, I like the Jesu X uh, for, you know, also close-ups, uh -huh. taking notes of things. Uh -huh. Like right now, I would probably just the entrance, stuff right. like that. Right, you right, can right. take with the Jesu X very nicely mm. on the on the 28. I feel like yeah. you're always searching for some foreground. Background yeah, you, have, you get you get more in, so you have yeah. to be a little bit more crafty with yeah. your framing. And when you get really close, so you want, sometimes you can just get really close, right? Mm -hmm. But if you get, let's go down this little side street, I like this street. But when you get really close, what ends up happening, as you well know, you get kind of like the distortion of being close, right? Yeah, I love yeah. this, this ramen shop as well. You gotta hide because we'll be in the reflection. <laughs> oh, good tip. Yeah, I've shot this many times. I really like this, uh, yeah. this view, little ramen shop. Japan is always so random. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Messy. Like cable management, they never yeah, heard of it. What cable management? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's interesting, right? I mean, yeah. I see you taking pictures like this all the time. Yeah. With just these little cables and I stuff. I love this kind of stuff. Yeah, the, yeah, like the broken glass here and then the kanji above. Didn't you also uh, do a blog post about it? Like traces of human existence, but yeah, by yeah. seeing objects, right? I don't have a blog post, I think, about it, but I do have a series of photos basically yeah. like that. Like, yeah, this. And then we did a video called Unstreet Photography, which right, we right, talked yeah. about these kind of photos as well. Yeah. Yeah, and in, in, uh, in Kamakura or places I'm staying right now, mm -hmm. I notice all these little interesting things like cables, and I want to take mm. pictures of it, and I do. But I'm also thinking, you know, what, I'm, what am I going to do with them? Like, yeah, I used to have that thought, but I kind of like, I'm glad I never really let that stop me. I just, mm. I just take photos of everything. I have, yeah. like every year I produce maybe 15, 20,000 photos. And then I don't really use most of them. Right. But I don't know that until after I shoot them, right? So I'm very like, I kind of burden myself by having so many photos in the end. Because then it's annoying to go through and like, yeah. organize and keep all that data. But I think it's overall a good thing because you don't know really what's going to have value down the line, right? right. When I mean, you said it yourself, like with time, yeah. things gain value with photography. It's like wine or something. Now, I wanted to ask you because mm. I don't, I don't know that many other GR shooters actually, like personally. You know, mm. I know them online. There's a lot of famous, great photographers, but I don't know personally. You're one of the ones that I know. How often do you actually use like snap focus, full press snap? Like, how do you usually shoot with your GR? Um, I'm just <laughs> wondering. Oh, you like this? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I'm gonna do. I like this a little bit more. I'm gonna do a similar one here. <laughs> Very grimy and nasty. We need a. We need a. We need a rat coming out and. Yeah, I was hoping for coming a out of the vending machine. Yeah. This is where I might go on the slower shutter. Because I find myself not that often using snap focus. Actually, mm. I tend to just focus every shot like normal. Yeah, you know. You know I think for me it uh, depends on the shoot. I have a shooting style for a specific kind of photo and mm -hmm. snap focus. I use it, I use it in crowded places and busy streets and lots of light. Right. But right now I have time to stop. I have time right, to right, autofocus. Right. I hold it the autofocus mm -hmm. and that's actually something I learned from you. Ah, uh, to keep it held down <laughs> with the autofocus yeah, button yeah, yeah, half yeah. press. That's such I a call useful it ninja tip. Ninja autofocus. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I don't need snap focus. 
It is nice today. The light coming in is really cool. It's just pretty. Yeah. So yeah, so we had to cut a little bit. We jumped forward in time, guys, because we there was this really noisy construction. Too loud, to yeah. It. But anyway, we were discussing snap focus, and I was asking you about, you know, when do you use it, when do you not use it? Yeah. And um, obviously, we, we already said like for scenes so you, like this, you don't need snap yeah, focus. Yeah, you don't need yet. it, so you might as well just focus it normally, right? And um, I'm not doing this reactive fast street right. photography anymore. Right, right. Um, just because it's harder to get something I'm really happy with. Right. Because most of these shots feel feel like I took something fast mm -hmm. and didn't think much about it mm -hmm. and the framing might be a little off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And especially with the X. Right, right, right. If I have the time, then yeah. I'd rather... Oh, this is, this is cool. I like what's yeah. in here. Jump in front of you when you're, when you're good. And the light just changed dramatically. Oh, that yeah. Was interesting. It's, it's not as nice anymore. I still like it. I like this, this like, right, right away. Uh, you, 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 yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm waiting for the light. The challenge of, of two guys doing street at the same time, you're in each other's photos. But I love this. Oh, I, I gotta wait here for, for the light to come back. What do you find interesting? Here? I just like the shapes and how the light mm -hmm. was following the shapes. Mm. You know? For me, it was when I when I saw the, the view from the other side, I love this green gate and that pole back there, right? Yeah. So this, this thing. Ah. And then actually that looked better to me when the light got softer. Just okay. Because when it was in the sun, the bright sun it adds a lot of contrast, but it washes out color a little bit mm. right? compared to a more overcast kind of light. Right. I think your, your light's not going to come back soon. I think it's, uh, if you look at the clouds, it's going to be a bit... Yeah. Maybe I got one, I don't know. No. Oh, here. Oh, I Just see what you mean. You one. like that line. But yeah. I want them, these also to be in the frame. Right, 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 right. Something like that, and then uh -huh. the, the, the light. Hmm. Just trying to fill the frame with sure. lots of things. But I, give me give me a minute. I'll give you a minute. I, I have hopes. I'll give you a minute. I time you. <laughs> oh, my, my strap. <laughs> oh. oh, it's oh. coming. There you go. Oh, there shit. you go. But just for a moment. Oh, it is. It is. The things we do for street photography, you know, we're just sitting in a dirty little back alley waiting for a little bit of sunlight to take a photo of basically nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, you know. That's what it is. Our art is personal, and if it's interesting, it's interesting. No one can tell you, hey, don't take a photo of that, that's boring. That's not up to anyone else except for you. So at least that's how I feel about it. Yeah, let's move on. Let's move on. We're never going to get through a, a real concrete conversation because we're constantly shooting things. And I love this broken chair. And then why does it say fax on it? Yeah. So they want to fax this chair? <laughs> or it was faxed, and that's how it arrived? Yeah. yeah this, is, this is epic. Oh, I love it. And then this umbrella also sticking out. Yeah, because photography is technically it's very easy. That's true. You just click in a button. <laughs> yeah. It's Compared to like a fine art painter who has to actually, you know, have skill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can just go walk around and create art. Yeah. But the seeing is the hard part and it is exceptionally hard actually. Right. And especially because this way, yeah. it's now only about seeing and not creating the image because mm -hmm. everyone can do it. Right, right, right. So you need to become better at seeing things. Absolutely, absolutely. And in fact, the fact that you can create the image adds a bit of challenge because sometimes you think like, no, oh, if I could no. just change this one thing, it would be... Car? No. It would be perfect, but... And you, you know... Uh, I was hope. I happened? was thinking of uh, taking photos of two vending machines and then having like the hand coming out with the ah. cigarette. Well, and she, so she went a step forward and now it's... She's uh -huh. almost uh -huh. completely out. I see, I see. But even just... From the front with your mm. 28 would look mm. very. Uh, the mm. scene is just. Cool. I was I, I didn't even notice that I was looking at this big shadow here, which is much simpler ah. thing. But you know we were talking about seeing, and I was just about to point out that. Oh yeah, the light is. For crazy, me, yeah. these kinds of things catch my attention, and how they all work together. I love these uh, urban gritty scenes. And this is this is maybe why ultimately I do gravitate towards the 28 because what I was saying like the streets are narrow. Yeah, do you think a 40 is too wide here? I think actually, if, to get it how I'm wanting to frame it, which is what I'm doing right now, I wouldn't get it on the 40, because I'm getting mm. that pole, this pole, and the shadow. I'm getting yeah. everything. <laughs> I don't hmm. Yeah.
Oh, these are cute. I gotta take a picture of this. Yeah, these are really nice. I like, um, you know, I uh, try to do a project on, on mailboxes uh -huh. uh, around Germany and other places because, you know, people put their own little personal twist onto yeah, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And every country has a different style. Mm. But these are cute because they are a pair and... Yeah, totally. I don't know if these people live together or not, you know, I but don't they know, have... They're, they're very nice. I like yeah. them as well. They caught my eye too as soon as you pointed them out. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's nice too. I love barbershop poles. They're always yeah. attractive to me for, for a scene. Oh yeah, I just know that this shot is going to be epic. Oh yeah, <laughs> epic. Epic. Construction yeah, sites. I like, I like this kind of stuff too, yeah. It never ceases to amaze me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I agree. I do have a lot of photos of construction workers though. <laughs> that are just accumulated yeah. over the years. What are they doing? <laughs> yeah, they're cleaning the graffiti. Ah, auto focus too slow. <laughs> well, you just got now snap focus would have been better. Yeah, but you just got to also take your time. I know, but I looked at the phone and I was like, is, is it interesting? Oh, I actually got it. You got it. Actually, oh, it's a little bit of motion, motion blur. Motion blur is different. That's camera operator's fault though, right? Yeah, I know. Human error. Watch out, Axel. See, I, I thought maybe... You try to blame it on the camera, but it's actually all on you. Yeah. <laughs> so this little place here, I, I don't know. Today's maybe too sunny to see inside, but this dream coffee and then like there's reflections and people in oh, there. Yeah. I find this place interesting, but, at but least, because it's so bright out here, there's a little too much glare. Yeah. At least some of these places who renovated uh, their store mm. leave the old signs on sometimes. Yeah. But this, one's, this one hasn't been renovated since it was built. <laughs> oh. It's just an old, old dump. Oh, yeah, the place like, is I like nice. it from this side. And the guy with picking up his bicycle is nice too, because the, the blue sign up there. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 you're good, you're good. All right. So Sam, I feel like we had a nice walk around Ikebukuro. Yeah. And your battery just died, huh? Uh, not yet, but, but close. I'm, close I'm just preparing for, for whatever is coming next. My camera is not turning on. Here's a little tip for everyone watching. Don't use third party batteries if you want your camera not to glitch out, which can happen. I only use the good stuff, Sam. <laughs> Yeah, this is true. I, I had, I, it took me a while to realize it, but mm. the original battery does work the best. Who would have thought? Ah. <laughs> so. I don't know. We didn't get any like, you know, revolutionary photos, right? But we will see. We will see. We will but see. I'm always happy. I'm always happy to get anything that even just interests my eye. It doesn't need to be groundbreaking or, you know. Yeah. You know, what's the word I'm looking for? reinventing the wheel kind of thing, right? Exactly. It can just be the good old nice I think it just shows, happy. or this video shows, mm. how how we use the Jihan. Yeah, all, exactly. That's yeah. all we wanted to show, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's not always fast, it's not always, you know, snapping. Yeah, snap focus, snap running focus, running around. everything. Sometimes it's slow, yeah. but uh, that's what I like. It's so versatile, Same. you know? Yeah. You can shoot. Agreed. And what I like is that it's easy. Like, today's a very hot day. I don't want to carry a big, heavy camera in the pocket, in the bag it goes. Yeah. It's very karui, Japanese right. for you guys. You look light. like a tourist. You look like a tourist, which a bunch of people thought we were. Yeah, which, which you basically are, Nikon. Exactly. Let's be, let's be yeah. honest here. All right, guys, so <laughs> I think we'll end it there. It was awesome having yeah, Sam. Yeah, it was fun. Doing a video uh, with Sam, a yeah. collaboration video. Um, of course, please leave comments below, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. I think not anytime soon there'll be another video with both of us, but someday. For sure. I think, uh, yeah, yeah, there will be one. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video.